Are you thinking about buying a rock tumbler but worried about having a huge electric bill? Today I'll help you out with that. I think you'll be surprised. I'll test a variety of tumblers, including my giant tumbler, but let's start with the Lortone 33B. I was going to show you how to use the information on the label here to figure this out on your own, but as I did some research, I quickly found out that it's not as accurate as I thought and it's not as easy as I thought. I was all set to do a whole math lesson as a retired math teacher, but uh, I don't think anybody came here for a math lesson, so I wrote that up. I put it in the description. If you want to see that, you can look at it there. So here's a quick synopsis for this tumbler. Based on the label, the tumbler uses 36 watts of power. In a 30-day month, it'll use almost 26 kilowatt hours. And at my house, a kilowatt hour costs 13.3 cents. So the overall cost would be about $3.45 based on the label here. Uh, but then I bought this thing. This is called a kilowatt. Uh, that's three words, kill a watt. And what you do is you plug this into your wall, then you plug whatever device you want into it. And it'll give you, if you just leave it plugged in for a long time, it'll keep track of how long it's plugged in and give you uh, like how many kilowatt hours have been accumulated. And then you can figure out how much it's going to cost to run that device. So it'll also just show you volts and watts and amps and things like that. So uh, according to this, uh, my tumbler actually uses 23.6 watts. So that's about a quarter of a 100 watt light bulb. Uh, so it's not very much. When you figure that out, it comes out to be $2.26 per month to run this tumbler. So I don't know what the discrepancy is between the $2.26 uh, that this thing figured out and the $3.45 that I got by calculating from the label. I'm not an electrician. So uh, I did check this with the members of the Rock Tumbling Hobby Forum and several of them have this device or similar devices and they were getting very, very close measurements to what I'm getting. Uh, so I think that this is more accurate. I think this is what gives you the, the actual number. Either way, it's pretty cheap. So let's look at some other tumblers. This is the Lortone QT12. Uh, it's basically the same as the QT66. Uh, the 66 has two 6-pound barrels instead of one big 12-pound barrel. Uh, so it's going to be almost exactly the same thing. This costs $5.41 to run. Uh, this is the Thumblers AR2. Uh, it's uh, you know, very similar to this one. It costs $3.97 to run. Uh, the Lotto Tumbler, this is a vibratory tumbler, it costs a little bit more at $8.87 a month. The National Geographic is by far the cheapest one to run. Uh, this just has a little DC motor in it. Uh, the bad news is the motors don't hold up as long as these other motors do, but this only costs 72 cents a month to run. So, as you can see, this isn't a very expensive hobby. Uh, if you're into snow skiing or something, you pay a lot more than that just going one time with your family. So, I got into this through my son. Uh, when he was little, he liked polished rocks and uh, gift shops. So, my wife and I bought him a rock tumbler for Christmas. And uh, he lost interest after a couple of years. But for those couple of years, we spent a lot of time down here tumbling rocks, polishing rocks other ways. Uh, we got out in the beaches and looked for rocks. We were out in back roads looking for Petoskey stones. Uh, so we spent a lot of time together and it was, it was good quality time. So I've been keeping you waiting on the big tumbler. Uh, that tumbler holds two 12-pound barrels like this, a 6-pound barrel, and eight of these 3-pound barrels. So it holds a lot of stuff in there. And that one costs $16.76 a month, uh, which isn't too bad compared to a lot of other hobbies. I have a short playlist of other videos that you might be interested in if you're just getting into tumbling. Things like, how do you get rid of your old slurry? I also have whole videos on how to tumble from beginning to end. So click on one of those and I'll see you on the next video.